Hi, my name is Derman, and I'll be explaining why you can't, and never will, understand the fourth dimension. Let's go step by step. First we must realize that we as mere three-dimensional beings can only perceive two dimensions. You have probably heard this before, so bear with me. Let's picture how a two-dimensional being pictures the world. Let's make a 2D being on a flat plane and call him Squero. Squero sees things differently from us. When we show him a shape, such as a triangle, we can see that he can only perceive the triangle as a line, which is an object that is one dimension below his. In fact, from his perspective Squero can only see two sides of the triangle at the same time as a flat line, he can probably perceive depth by sensing lines closer to him as darker or lighter. Now let's consider, us 3D beings in 3D worlds, when we see a pyramid, we perceive a flat image and can only see three sides of the pyramid at the same time, no matter how you spin it. We perceive depth by deforming that which is farther away is smaller and that which is closer is bigger. The fact that we perceive in two dimensions is what allows me to show you the 3D pyramid as a flat depiction in your screen. Now that we know beings in any dimension perceive objects in their dimensions as depictions of a lower dimension, let's consider what we see when we look one dimension below us. Let's take a peek at Squero from our higher dimension. We can see at Squero in a way he could never see himself or anything else for that matter. Notice we can see inside and outside of him at the same time as well as all four of his sides at the same time. In fact, Squero can't do anything to hide from us, Squero probably feels naked right now. You'd even be able to tell Squero that he does not perceive objects the real way as we do. But instead as a simplified representation, a line, you silly dolt. Now that we know what we know, let's explain why you can't imagine or perceive the fourth dimension, and are just as silly as Squero is. Let's show Squero, a 3D object, as a drawing of a pyramid embedded on his plane. We can see that he still sees just a line, even if Squero could perceive transparency as we do, he'd still see, just a line with internal features, but in the end just a line or what would seem to him as three triangles mashed together. Now let's consider what a four-dimensional being's perception is like, and how it explains why you can't even imagine the fourth dimension, a four-dimensional being sees four-dimensional objects in true 3D vision, and furthermore, sees 3D objects in the same way you viewed Squero. That means that he can see all sides of a 3D object at the same time, no matter from which perspective he chooses to do so, he can look inside and outside you at the same time, as well as all your sides at the same time and you cannot hide from him anywhere, ever. So those depictions of spinning tesseracts you see on the internet don't count at all. They are the equivalent of the pyramid we showed to Squero, nothing but a shadow of the real thing. As a mere 3D being you can't even understand true 3D vision as our four-dimensional friend does. I can't even draw or model in three dimensions what a 3D object looks like to a four-dimensional being, let alone what a four-dimensional object looks like to four-dimensional being, in fact, not even our four-dimensional friend can truly perceive what a 4D object looks like truly, only a five-dimensional friend does. So, you can't understand the fourth dimension in any sort of depiction because not even a fourth-dimensional being does, and you don't even understand the third dimension because that would mean you could see all sides of an object, inside and out at the same time from any perspective. Makes you wonder, maybe three-dimensional objects require a higher dimension to exist in. That's all for now, see you soon, Derman.